Welcome to an introduction to the Eurostat database. At the iUse website, you can find a direct link to the database, and we have made some screen dumps and put some uh, help text so it could be easier for you to access tables and data in the Eurostat databank. But let's have a look at the data itself. The web page of the Eurostat uh, has a front page looking like this, and you'll find a lot of information easily accessible from the website. The important part is the most popular tables, where many pupils or teachers perhaps could find some of the numbers they are interested in. We can go to the complete database too to find the tables we are specifically looking at. The complete uh, database uh, looks like this. The database is organized in a menu structure, which uh, perhaps in one place gives an overview, but might be a little confusing too. Let's have an example. We would like to know something about inflation within the EU. We would then have to know that we can find these figures under this menu. And when we look at this, we could say or guess it would be under prices. And here we are closing up. We would like this index of consumer prices. And this is the tables underneath this menu. We can find uh, annual data. Um, the table would look like this. You can see a lot of countries represented, but one of the problems is that sometimes countries not in a part of the EU is represented too. It might confuse someone who doesn't really know which 28 countries um, consist in the EU. But uh, it might be a, it might be a good comparison. So if you know which countries are members, then you can make comparisons. For example, to Turkey or in this case United States. A table like this is eatable as an easily sortable. You can press here, and when we find the number again, 2014 we can see which country has the biggest inflation compared with 2005. Um, the table here perhaps gives exactly the answer, but uh, sometimes you're interested in an extract of this table. Then you can go to the time, and within the time, you can, sorry, you can select the years you want to look at, for example, 2014 and 2010, and compare these, press update, and you have this kind of table. And you could naturally take out some of the countries too. And let's say we select them all and uncircle them, and then say it would be Belgium and Bulgaria, or Denmark, where I come from. Press update, and the table will consist of these. You can naturally download these table and use them in for further work. Um, a table like this has uh, sometimes extra dimensions. You can see you can have an annual average rate of change, and this could be another way of explaining how inflation works. So. This is primarily the basic way that the database presents its table. The very important part of this is that a link to a table is kept within the Eurostat organization. Let's pick an other table. For example, let's have a go for the, we can go back to the front page, look at the population. And the, the link to this table 
is a link you can put into a document or a website. And whenever you press that link to that specific table, you would get updated data from the Eurostat. This, this might be very helpful for people who regularly want to be updated on specific numbers. Good luck with your own work.